Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys can tell what kind of mood I am in. Look at my beautiful, amazing little ghost. He's a friendly ghost, he's saying hi. And I have a little ghost in my ghost. Also the nails. Let's look at the spooky nails. I wish they were pink and I looked everywhere for a pair of pink spooky nails but this was the closest that we could find and you know what I love a good little lavender love a good little lavender so today is gonna be a long one and the theme is girly spooky Halloween slash pink girl fall a little mixture of the both you guys can't see everything but I genuinely have so many bags behind me I couldn't carry them all for the intro so we're doing a sitting down video today so get you a coffee or a hot chocolate a tea whatever your vibe is a little snack and let's hang out let's relax I normally do not decorate my house for like Halloween or fall and that's usually because I really am not a fan of Halloween colors like the purple and the orange and the black I don't like it it's not my vibe I will decorate for El Dia de los Muertos but that's a very specific time frame and it only lasts for a couple days so that's usually about as much as I do for the fall season but this year in all of my various shopping trips I noticed that there was a bunch of really cute and more girly and more pink fall kind of items so I really got into the little holiday spirit and I was like you know what I'm gonna decorate my house this year. So I went berserk and scouted like every TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Ross, Marshalls, and Home Goods that I have in like a 25 mile radius of me. And this is all the stuff that I found. I actually found so many cute items. So let me show you guys. We're gonna start right in. With the pillows this one um i wasn't able to find any of like the really cute pink pillows that i kind of wanted um of course just like half of america i was on the hunt for the little ghost pillow but no luck but i did find this one here that just says sweater weather and it's like a pretty little sherpa the lining is in gold it's so beautiful and you know i love gold and pink together so i figured why not? I also bought this other pillow, which is actually a dog toy. But for those of you who don't know, uh, one of my pet chihuahuas passed away August 2nd of this year. I had her for a very, very long time. She was 14 years old, so this will be my first year without her. Um, makes me really sad. But I saw this little Dia de los Muertos puppy, and I just thought of her. So, of course, I picked it up. Um, and this pillow right here, this pillow is not the theme I was going for, but it was just too cute, too cute to not, to not pick up. So it looks like a heart, but it's not a heart. It's that little piece that you move around when you do a Ouija board. Well, not when I do a Ouija board. I've never done a Ouija board and I would never do a Ouija board, but you know what I mean? The little piece on the Ouija board that they move around that's what this is so I really love that I've never seen a pillow like that so of course pick that up this wreath here is honestly the best thing that I found I was on the hunt for a pink pumpkin wreath um, it was one that I had seen on Instagram it was like velvet pumpkins and it was a lot smaller than this it was more of like the inside shape um, of this wreath that's about how big the one that I was hunting was but when I saw this one at T I, I found this one at home goods and the second I saw it I was like oh I wanted to scream I could not believe that I found this wreath it's genuinely so perfect this wreath was $49.99 which that price is a little bit more than I'd like to spend on any one item at a time <laughs> at any of those stores but 
I honestly, I couldn't resist. It was too perfect. It went perfectly with my theme. So definitely excited that I was able to snag this. I'm just gonna go randomly through all these bags. So this bag is from Burlington. So, okay. I picked up this little pumpkin um, stand up decor piece. Um, it says it was made in India, pretty cool. And if you look closely, it's beaded and it has like pastel pink and white. It's a little pumpkin. It actually almost low key looks like a crown. This was $9.99. I picked up this pumpkin. This one has pearls everywhere. You guys know how I feel about pearls this year. Um, really into the vibes. And it's actually a candle holder. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a little spot under here and I can screw this off and it can hold a tea light candle. So we love that. And this one originally was $19.99, which I don't know how they would have sold that for 20 bucks. I feel like that's way too overpriced. And of course, nobody bought it at that price. So it was reduced down to $10.99. This right here, this is the vibe that I'm going with. This is the vibe that I am going for, okay? Pretty, pretty pink, bats, ghosts. I have a big affection to ghosts this year. Last year, I think it was gnomes. This year, it's ghosts. Love them. Um, but this is a shower curtain. I got it for $5.99. I picked up these pumpkins. And although they're not pink, they did give me big, like, Kate Spade vibes. Um, and they were on clearance, <laughs> so I picked them up. They were originally $9.99. They were reduced down to $4.99. And I am thinking about putting these, like, in a pink bowl somewhere. Um, so that'll give, like, the pop of pink. This bag is from Home Goods. I know I said that I hate orange, which stands true. I really do. But I had to pick this up. These are little like kitchen towels. And it has a little ghost with a little pink bow. I had to take her. She was the only one there. And she's so cute. We'll forgive the orange. And then it has another little towel on it that has other little baby ghosts. Orange, blue, green, and of course pink. I wish they were all pink. But this one was $7.99 and these are really good quality. Like the quality is thick. Okay, I picked up these little straws with little ghost toppers on them. They are too cute. I am thinking about hosting like a scary movie night a couple times this month. These are going to go so beautiful in my little like coffee bar or hot chocolate bar. They are just the cutest little things. These were $4.99. I had been on the hunt for like a spooky pink blanket. This one has little witches on it. Um, which is very cute. She's riding on her little broomstick and it is pink. I'm gonna put this one over my couch, I think. And this one was $16.99 at Home Goods. I also found these little velvet pumpkins. It's a set of 12. Some of them look a little bit lighter. Some of them look a little bit darker. And this was $9.99. For my little coffee slash hot chocolate bar I'm going to make, I bought new K-Cups. I bought the classic cinnamon rolls from Cinnabob. If you guys saw my last video, you know how much I love Cinnabob. So I picked this up, and these were $11.99 at Marshall's. Really good price, considering it has 24 And then I also picked up these little, like, paper baking slash snack cups. I picked them up mostly for this little design right here. It has the little pink ghosts and skeletons. It's so cute. These will come in handy in my little movie nights I will be having. These were $5.99. I picked up these kitchen towels, but I picked these up before I found the cute little ghost ones. So I honestly will probably return these because... The other ones are just so much cuter. So we're going to end up taking these back. Um, they were $4.99 and it has like a little llama drinking some coffee. Or you know what? I honestly might just keep them and use them while the other ones are washing. 
I might do that because they are very cute. I think it's there's just so much orange in it that it kind of throws me off. Like, do I need to even say anything? She is so cute. <laughs> She's blushing, a little ghost baby. She doesn't have any arms though, so she's like all trunk. All trunk, no arms. That's okay, we gotta give her a name. Let me know what you think I should name her. She's so cute, look at her little lashes. She's a material girl for sure. Um, she was $14.99, but she is, she's made out of like wool and she's very heavy, very sturdy. So you know what? We picked her up looking like a cutie. This was also one of my favorite finds. I don't know how big it's going to look on camera, but she is gigantic in person she's gold and she's blingy love that and she also has a little spot to put tea light candles in um and the tag is inside for some reason but this was $24.99 at Burlington. I think this one is gonna go on like the little centerpiece of my table. This isn't Halloween theme, but I picked it up, so why not show you guys? It's just like a little pink bag with a ton of hearts. It was $12.99. I had seen a bag like this already, but it was Betsy Johnson, and it was like $25. I saw it at think Burlington and I was like oh no girl love pink hearts but $25 for a makeup bag I think not but the Burlington gods were on my side actually the Ross gods were on my side and I found almost the same bag it's just not name brand I guess for half the price I picked up these little day of the dead cookies and I do I did this last year with my daughter we had like a movie night and before the movie we actually decorated these type of cookies the the other los muertos cookies so I found this one on clearance at Ross for $4.99 and it just looks so cute so I went ahead and picked that up so let's move on to the good stuff the mugs the candles the breakables the home decor okay so I'm gonna start off with this set of mugs they are so cute i told you guys i loved ghosts this season and this one says mama and then it has another one that says mama's boo i love to have matching cups with my daughter i just i love it we have a few sets and this one was just too cute and it was only 6.99 which is a really good deal for two mugs I picked up these serving platters. It say they say grateful on them, and there's three in here. Um, they're pretty large. They're 16 inches in diameter, and I got these not for decoration, but for Thanksgiving. I did Thanksgiving at my house last year. I cooked a turkey, and the turkey was delicious. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. it was so good so I went ahead and picked these up another little ghost but this time he's a candle oh he smells so good this one is a vanilla cupcake scent and of course after I use up all the candle I will be using him as home decor when he be so cute to put all of my little straws in here next to my um, coffee bar so cute I almost dropped him. I would have cried, okay? This one was $12.99 at Marshall's. Oh my god, look at all these receipts everywhere. It's like unwrapping a present because I don't know individually what these things are. Oh, it's double-sided. I didn't realize that. Okay, so this one says, hey boo, and it has a little pink tassel with it and a little ghost keychain. It's so cute. I probably will just hang the keychain on the actual mug so it has little accessories. And I did find a few other ones that looked almost the same but had different wording on it. They just looked too similar for me to justify buying all three. They were the exact same color. So I picked up the one I liked the most, which was this one, my Hey Boo. Got this other mug. It has a bunch of little ghosts on it. So freaking pretty. This one was $4.99. This right here is one of my 
favorite finds, top three. It's a little ghost, so cute, and it has four coasters that say boo. They go right here. Is that not the cutest thing ever? This was only $9.99. I feel like this could have been like a $14.99 item and I still would have picked it up. It is so cute. I picked up a candle because of course we have to have pumpkin or apple type of scents, right? In the fall. This one is apple pumpkin. It smells amazing and it came in a little pink base or pink and then the top is a white pumpkin. Uh, it smells so good and look at this really pretty little pumpkin on the top. I could even just use this as decoration. It's so pretty. On el Dia de los Muertos, I will be making my altar for all of my dead family and loved ones. Look what I found. A little pink mariachi. Look at how cute he is. He has his little guitar. He has a little blue hat and his outfit is pink, mama. He is so cute. Can you guys see? He might look white to you guys, but he's pink. He matches my sweater. I'm going to put him on my altar for El Dia de los Muertos and he can bring them serenata. I'm so excited. And this one actually didn't have like a price tag on it. So I, they gave him to me for $7.99, which I thought was a good price. Also found this little skeleton hand. And over here it has like wording on it. But I like it without the wording. And it has a little pink vase. I was thinking about using it as a ring holder in my bathroom that I'm going to decorate. Just to show you guys how pretty this looks. Look at that. <laughs> Like, look at how pretty that looks. It's so cute. Um, very pink, very spooky. And this one was also $7.99. Another mug. This one is a little mummy. Nothing pink about it, but he was so cute. And he was on clearance for $2.49. Ross had so much Halloween clearance. I think they're probably just clearancing out all of the Halloween stuff that's been sitting for a few weeks because they're going to get a lot more Halloween stuff in. Um, so if you haven't gotten any like Halloween stuff yet, run to Ross because they have so much clearance. And another candle, this one is actually from Home Goods. It was in the wrong bag. But this one says 100% that witch. Me, literally. And the smell is pumpkin. <sighs> latte so pretty pretty in pink this one was $12.99 which now looking back at it I'm like that's a little pricey for this little bitty candle I did also pick up a little jewelry so I picked up these beautiful beautiful ghost earrings from bobble bear or bobble bar how pretty are they? I've seen quite a few like ghost earrings. Most of them from Betsy Johnson. None of them I liked enough to purchase. But these, as soon as I saw them, they're made out of little pearls. They're so cute. Um, and they were $9.99. Also picked up a little juicy bracelet. Isn't Halloween themed, but y'all know I love a good little juicy find. I found this one first, and then I found this one at a different store. I like the white better, so I purchased it. It was also $4.99. I bought this one at Marshalls, this one at TJ Maxx. I'm going to gift this one to my sister so we can be inverted besties. But they are both really, really cute. This one just went better, I thought, with my color scheme. This, this is our last bag. I picked up this clear little mug. It was $6.99. It does come with a top on it. And I actually bought this to decorate it in little ghosts and spiders and spider webs and black cats that I will design with my Cricut. So I had a vision for this. Even though this looks very plain, I have a vision for it. I'll probably post it on one of my Instagram stories once it's completed. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Okay, and here is the candy jar that I purchased that I will be filling up with the little pink pumpkins. This is our last item and I know what it is because I've been waiting to pull it out this whole time. And this is probably my favorite find other than the wreath because it fits my theme perfectly. 
a little baby ghost. She has a little bow and she's holding her little pet bat. She's so cute. She's smiling. Oh, I love everything about her. Her and her are going to be best buddies, best friends. And we have to find a name for her. Give me name suggestions because she is just too pretty. I want to keep her around all year. She really is. She just fits the bill. She's so cute. She was $14.99 at Home Goods, and this is the same Home Goods that I found my wreath at. Such a good find. And that concludes my haul. Oh my goodness. That was a long one, you guys. That was a long one. I went to so many stores. But I'm really crossing my fingers. My house ends up as beautiful as I'm imagining it, especially for the first time setting up for fall. This might have a part two if I end up finding more things from now to Halloween, which is still like a month. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell for the notifications so that if I do release that video, you won't miss it. Also, make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment, tell me what was your favorite find. And if you're hunting for anything, let me know. I still have a few things I'm hunting for, so I'm going to keep an eye out. Thank you, of course, for watching. Like always, I love you so, 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 so much, and I will see you guys soon.